When you have a lot of different rows in your spreadsheet, you may want to sort the data so you can view it more easily. Sorting can reorder things alphabetically, numerically, by date, or even in a custom order that you choose. Depending on your preference, you can either sort from the Home tab using the Sort and Filter drop down menu, or you can use the commands in the Data tab. In this example, I have a worksheet with a list of t-shirt orders, and I'd like to sort it alphabetically by last name. Just click any cell in the column you want to sort, and then click the ascending command. That's the one that says A to Z. You'll notice that when we sort one column, Excel also reorders the other columns so that each row still has the correct information. If we wanted these in reverse order, we could click the descending command. That's the one that says Z to A. Now this method doesn't always work if your spreadsheet has an unusual layout. Watch what happens when I try to sort the data here on the right. See how the header row is included in the sort by mistake? In a situation like this, you might need to manually select the cells you want, instead of relying on Excel to do it for you. This is called sorting a cell range. Select the cell range you want to sort, including the header row if you have one. Then, click the sort command, and a dialog box will appear. And first you'll want to check the box that says, My data has headers. Then, use the drop-down menu on the left to choose the column you want to sort by. Then select a sorting order. In this example, we'll choose largest to smallest. When you're done, click OK. And the range will be sorted by the selected column. Notice that the rest of the worksheet wasn't affected by our sort. Now, sometimes the default sorting options won't work for what you have in mind. For example, if we sort the columns that contain the t-shirt sizes in ascending order, the order will be large, medium, small, then extra large, because the column is being sorted alphabetically. You know, it would be better if the sizes were listed in a more logical order, in other words, small, medium, large, then extra large. For this, we'll need to create a custom sort. To begin, click the sort command, and on the right, you can see that it's ordering the column from A to Z. If we click this drop down menu and select custom list, we can enter the t-shirt sizes in the order we want. So I'll click in the box and start typing. Small, medium, large, and extra large, and I'm pressing enter after each one. When you're done with your list, click the add button, and make sure that your list is selected over here on the left, then click OK to confirm, and OK again. And now the worksheet is sorted the way we want. The only problem with this is that every other column is completely out of order. What I would really like is if the homeroom numbers were organized within each t-shirt size. I can do this by sorting by multiple levels. This will let us sort first by t-shirt size and then by homeroom. Click the sort command and you'll notice the different options at the top of the dialog box. You can add a level to the sort, delete a level, or even use the arrows to change the level order. In this example we want to add a level. Now we just have to select the homeroom column and we'll leave the other two fields the way they are, sorting the values from smallest to largest. And when you click OK, you'll see that within each t-shirt size, the homeroom numbers are listed in numerical order. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways of sorting your data, depending on how you want to organize it. So take some time to experiment with the different options and find the ones that best suit your needs.